What's our next song, y'all? Uh, we're going to do The Box. This is the title cut of the new record. We drew the title, The Perfect Gift, from the last verse of this song. I wrote this with April Virch, oh. one of one of our friends. She's in our area, I think, yes. this weekend. Yes. Love you, April. With Joe Newberry. Yes, y'all. If, if you can't go be with us in Abingdon, Virginia, go see Joe Newberry and April Virch. They put on a I great can't remember show. the Talk venue. about energy, you know? Yes. Yeah, but um, I'm sure you can get that information from their website. Sure. But, but yeah, April and I wrote this several years ago. She brought the idea to the table and uh, was just talking about the just the excitement when she was a little kid of, um, uh, of knowing it was the beginning of the Christmas season and her mom was going to get out the box of Christmas decorations. Mm. So... Here it is, the box. You okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're all hooked up there. I am. I'm tethered. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I stared out the frosty window as the sunlight danced on sparkling snow. In a fragrant hush of evergreen cedar, cinnamon, and clove. Surrounded by familiar voices, joining in old calm Emmanuel. As the Reverend told us of the first Noel My little hand took Grandma's sleeve I loudly whispered, is it finally time? Caught my daddy's eye and sat back down Mama simply smiled At that moment I knew she remembered And my heart beat wildly at the thoughts Of mama climbing down the ladder from the attic Carrying the box Tucked beneath the tinsel The pine cone wreath and lights on tangled string Crocheted snowflakes, hand stitched birds and stars. I found my favorite thing. I carefully unwrapped the fragile pieces from the paper one by one. The angels and the shepherds, Mary, Joseph, and their baby son. WNCW in Studio B with Becky Buller Band and some great holiday music from the new album, The Perfect Gift. And that's where the title comes from, The Box, right? Mm -hmm. Ah, I love it. Beautiful song. Thank you. 
Uh, congratulations, by the way. Uh, didn't you recently have standing room only at the Station Inn? We did, and we got a color paper plate. Now, what's the significance of that? Because I mentioned that <laughs> yesterday here in Studio B. It's our first color paper plate. So what does the color mean? All right, well, 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 I don't know what the color means, but the paper plate is... That's, Sell out. They just, yeah, they, they write sold out sold on a paper out. plate and then check back at... I don't know, 10, 30 nah. or something. And they stick that to the front door. Yeah. Because it's first come, first serve and cash only. And um, uh, so we got, yeah, it was nice. <laughs> Two-tone <laughs> color paper plate. That's so the I, color means somebody lost the black Sharpie. Ah, it, yeah, it, yeah. it could be, but yeah. you're taking the magic away, Ned. I like to think of it as because it's <laughs> Becky's so colorful as, yeah, as a person. I'm sure that's what it is. Yeah, anyway, is. so I, yeah, I added it to my, um, I have a display of paper plates by the door in my music room. Yeah. It's a fire hazard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again, but, I can't know. throw anything away. My husband's like, we're hoarders. <laughs> we are hoarders. <laughs> well, well, you know, th some things are good to hoard. And, you know, I, I started with that to mention some of your accolades. I like to do that because... Um, as a songwriter, of course. As a performer, you've won things. As a songwriter, too, though, a couple of Grammy-winning songs. The String Dusters tune. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Freedom, lead-off track on their Laws of Gravity record. Yeah. And um, I think that was, I'm going to get this wrong, 2018. Something like that. And then mm -hmm. 2019, the Traveling McCurries uh, recorded the uh, Shaker that yeah. I wrote with Alan Bartram, their bass player. Yeah. And that was on their self-titled Grammy-winning record. And Freedom, that was yeah. written with uh, Missy Raines and Allison Brown? Uh, no. no. Okay, so the one with Missy I'm Raines... Confusing. And, oh, no, no, it's okay. The one with Missy Raines and Allison Brown was the 2020 IBMA Song of the Year recorded by... Um, Chicago Barn Dance. Special Consensus, yes, Chicago Barn Dance. Sorry, to interrupt. Yeah, that was so much fun. But when I have a brain recovery, I just have to blurt it out. <laughs> it's okay, it's... We're all good. And uh, I'm very excited. Molly Tuttle is up for a bunch of stuff at the Grammys, including new artists. Yes. Which is huge. Yeah. Huge thing. And um, her album, um, The Golden Highway, the, the no, no, Crooked Tree. Sorry. Crooked Tree, yes. I have a song on there as yeah. well. Yeah. It's called Goodbye Girl. Yes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, I just want to mention some of your accolades because you've got them, you know, the Grammy stuff, the IBMA Awards, plenty of those. And she's putting on a banjo. If you're not watching at home, <laughs> uh, Netsky just brought her a, a banjo. You, and, uh, More banjo. Uh, we talked about her being a multi-instrumentalist. It's true. Uh, fiddle. And she's a pretty mean claw hammer player. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I went to school at East Tennessee State University up there in Johnson City, Tennessee. And while I was there, I took a claw hammer banjo from Dr. Richard Blaustein mm -hmm. um, because I wanted to be like Gillian Welch. <laughs> oh, of course. Who doesn't? Yeah, which is a kind of like I feel like I'm not a real claw hammer banjo player. <laughs> like, you know, um, but I, I, I love that she has that color in her music. Um, yeah. Well, anybody that's listened to The Rebel and the Rose knows that you're a real claw hammer player. Oh, thank you. Thank you. For sure. Thank you.